so this morning I decided I'm gonna go for for a ride and for a long time I wanted to basically make my own coffee and um, being here out in 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 the nature um, be able to to drink to drink this coffee so uh, it's homemade oh so good uh, let me show you this location where i am right now look how beautiful that is for sure autumn in montenegro is something spectacular and i came from there as i promised to you before i wanted to tell you about tracer performance and uh, performance on a long trip so a couple of weeks ago i went to uh, nearby country so I am based in Montenegro right now because um, I wanted to see some cool places I wanted to switch off a little bit I wanted to to enjoy myself riding for a few days also I am preparing something cool for the next year where you can guys be part of it because next year I want to do few tours uh, around uh, Montenegro, Serbia and Bosnia and uh, basically the tracer will be one of those motorcycles which we're gonna ride on those tours because I believe this bike is meant to be a grand touring machine and uh, that was the reason why I actually took tracer my goal was to understand how good uh, tracer can be and I believe there is a little bit of uh, misconception about tracer people judging tracer by GT trim the most expensive one right this probably happens because of the marketing which uh, Yamaha does because Yamaha never give uh, to test a uh, base variation of tracer to, to the journalists so all journalists they write uh, tracer GT because it's the most advanced it has most electronics and um, what comes from it is that people judging Tracer saying that it is sort of not comfortable motorcycle on mixed terrains or let's say on bumpy roads. You know, Yamaha is one of the biggest uh, motorcycle producers in the world. They intentionally created this um, Tracer 9 base variation so you can play around with it. This bike comes with uh, cruise control, it comes with all the same features as GT except of electronic suspension because electronic suspension has less options how you can set it up. So it's basically two modes. One is like road mode and another one is a sporty mode. And um, none, of the, none of those uh, settings are soft. Where this one has a much wider range of adjustments and the reason for that because Yamaha knew that uh, some of those motorcycles can be used in, in the areas or in say uh, less developed countries such as let's say Balkans area because roads here is not that good and that is the reason why to such countries Yamaha actually supplies these motorcycles and you could not find the base variation of Tracer 9, let's say, in United States or Canada or even Japan, because roads are much better than here. And that is the reason why Yamaha said, okay, let's introduce this motorcycle, so make it simple, but same time give you more control over how you want to set it up. If you go to Yamaha website, you could find all sort of... Uh, packages for this motorcycle so you basically buy base trim of the bike but then you have touring pack you have uh, touring plus you have gravel pack which is not available for gt so the aim of the gravel pack is to allow you to go to the you know to a little bit uh, off not off road let's say but just you know to this is kind of gravel roads and uh, if you look online you will see that gravel packs comes with uh, with uh, engine protection plate, it comes with the fog lights and uh, it has a different type of uh, luggage system so of course you can use this like plastic panniers which uh, also uh, standard for GT version but there is also two more versions uh, of panniers which you can have you can have soft luggage and you can also have adventure type of the luggage Yamaha were really smart about this motorcycle so they said like okay 
For those people who want a little bit more reliability, so a little bit less electronics, but a little bit more flexibility, let's give them like standard adjustable suspension and give them options to build on this motorcycle what they want. Um, so they want, let's say, dual purpose bike, they can do that. They want a touring bike, they can do that. But at the same time, they have a little bit more uh, control over uh, let's say comfort of this motorcycle for different scenarios and that's uh, where you can see the major difference which people don't know and most of their uh, dealerships uh, don't tell you because of course everyone wants to sell the most expensive the most advanced version of the motorcycle um, and also people want the most expensive thing right and that's where everyone buys uh, GT but then with GT they understand that it's just like hard to get the same level of comfort as on any um, other motorcycle which is sort of a dual purpose bike. Of course it's not the same as uh, adventure type bike, it's not uh, 170 or 180 you know, uh, millimeters uh, suspension travel. If you put it in a soft, uh, you know, in a soft position it just like it, it changes performance of the bike and uh, it uh, changes perspective of how this bike can be used and uh, how comfortable it could be um, rather than that this bike provides you with all same features as gt version uh, just gives you a little bit more flexibility when i was uh, choosing this bike i was talking to a guy who 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 is actually a journalist by the time when i was buying this motorcycle he already uh, spent maybe one year maybe a little bit less on GT version and he told me like don't buy don't buy electronic suspension if you if you want to use that bike in certain scenarios all extras which are now on this motorcycle they make it to the same price range or same, same price level as GT but it was my intentional wish to get actually a base variation because again less electronics more reliability less electronics more control and um, yeah so far i am super enjoying this bike so i spent around uh, uh, 1500 kilometers on this bike on my trip and i went through different type of the roads um, as i mentioned before and i have zero complaints i i just you know this motorcycle is pure miles uh, either i would say if i have more time to travel i would probably continue traveling for a few more days and uh, I'm pretty much sure I would not be uh, complaining at all. So yeah guys, that is my feedback. I just wanted to tell you about it because again, I know that many people been uh, got into that uh, you know loop that uh, they want the most expensive the most advanced uh, version and they think that is the best one where if you speak uh, from practical standpoint you will understand that uh, you know there is a reason for every model which is available um, in the market and uh, you can probably get better performance on this motorcycle depends on where, where you're gonna ride this bike thank you so much for watching till the end and i'll see you in the next one cheers